Hey guys, it's Eddie. Um, this is Fruit for Thought. I'm in the rabbit tree today because I've got a little bit of a fight on my hands. Quail versus rabbits. Be right back. When I tried to get this done, um, I had to go and get dinner just as I started this came back out and it was or the light was gone so I was just starting it just now so it's light is up uh, finished my night shift and done my routines done some stuff in the house come back out uh, it's getting really warm it's muggy today um, so what am I talking about well I'm talking about m meat protein whatever you want to call it because obviously you've got eggs for protein as well it's not just the meat side of it so so why am I just talking about oops, I've got yellow jackets flying around here. Um, so what am I talking about? So when it comes to rabbits, obviously first off you gotta get your rabbit when you decide to get them. So you get your rabbit. Um, a lot of the times you, most people won't buy a mature male, mature female, because they're a little bit more expensive. You know, you tend to buy ten weeks, twelve weeks you know 14 weeks old um, and then go beyond that I bought a mature male mature female I bought a pregnant female um, but I paid premium price for those uh, to get me started I wanted to get started early so I bought premium price for them so you got that option to get started if you don't and you buy a 10 week um, kit 10 week old kit then you gotta wait till they're six months or seven months old before they're mature enough to start carrying. Um, rabbits have a 31 day gestation period. So that's a lot longer than quail. Quails are 17 days between laying and hatching. It's about 17 days. So it's nearly half. With, um, obviously, if you intend to keep the rabbits um, to start growing your herd, um, then it's gonna be another six months before you start to get to start to producing then another 31 days and another 10 weeks so it's about 10 weeks after birth that you can harvest so if you've got your say average I'm averaging about eight eight kits yeah I know I hear you about eight kits um, for the the litters so five pounds so you're talking by the time you harvest it down about half so about 20 pounds of meat um and that's going to take you 10 weeks to get 20 pounds which is still good you know um to be able to put that aside uh, but if you only get say two females one male but you want to produce more for your family it's going to take you about oh, a year year and a half to start to get to a position where you've got enough females, males to be able to start producing, it, you know, like I've done a video before, like three thousand pounds in a year, but they're all breeding at the same time. They're all it's a hard, a lot of work. Um, if we're talking about a SHIT scenario that's going to hit the fan. not getting an awful lot I've got to wait an awful lot of time to get this meat from this quail on the other hand um, am I getting a lot of meat off these guys nah by the time you actually process that down you get to, it's about three ounces a bird so it's not an awful lot of meat however as I said before from laying the egg to hatching is only 17 days from hatching to start laying, it's only six weeks. So only six weeks later, the birds that you just hatched are laying hatches. I got eight um, birds. I've already got three, now three cages full, and they've got like eight females in each, and they're all laying. And this, is, this hasn't been long before I've been able to do this. So I'm getting anywhere between uh, about, I've got about half, you know, a, a dozen and a half eggs, about 18 eggs per day at the moment. Um, 
and I'm producing, you know, chicks. You've seen my videos. I'm producing chicks quite regularly. Those are going to be starting. These ones now are going to start to be meat eggs, uh, meat meat eggs, um, meat quail. So it's only six weeks between they get to mature enough that there can either be meat or they can become eggs, egg layers. So if I really had to decide between six weeks being able to have meat, 10 weeks, okay, as I said, 10 weeks from birth, that's fine. But if I'm going through the whole aspect of having more, having more, having more, that I'm, re I'm really liking the quail. Um, when it comes to feed, rabbits eat a lot. Um, obviously, you know, if they're just on maintenance, they're eating about four ounces a day plus hay, plus greens. Um, and they're constantly, they're almost constantly eating. Quail, I will give them a can of food in a big feeder to feed all the, the quail that's in the cage. And there's what, 10, about 10 in each, eight females plus two males in each cage. That whole can will last about two days because they'll eat what they feel like and that's it. They only eat what they need. They don't overeat. They don't eat all the time. They eat, they'll need to sit back and that'll sit. And, plus I give them cucumber and tomatoes and all that kind of stuff as treats. And which you should, you should give them grass and that kind of stuff. So food wise, I have spent not an awful lot, it's about 40 bucks on food for this amount of quail in several months. Whereas I'm spending, well, I bought um, three bags of uh, rabbit feed on the weekend and that was $45, $48. $48 and that will last me about two weeks. So these guys, I'm very, very impressed with um, because they're giving me food every day. As I said, 18 eggs a day for three cages. Um, and I can feed my family. Well, it's okay, the tiny little eggs. So it's, what well, if you have three egg, you know, it, I'm not, my math is screwed. It, you know, like six eggs, chicken eggs, six eggs per day, you know. But if I'm given fat between the families every, every single day, it adds up, you know, it's another, it's a form of protein plus your vegetables, and if it's a, a crap hit savan, I'm, I'm growing my own vegetables. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm waffling a bit, but I'm hoping that you can see where I'm going here. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting rid of my rabbits, not by any situation. But if you have rabbits, I would advise anybody to seriously look, if your bylaws allow it, I would seriously look at quail as a food source, um, not as a meat source. As I said, it's like three ounces of meat. But the thing is, once they start to, um, and they don't last long. Um, you're talking about two years old and they're done. They're not laying anymore. So you're, you're looking at moving on and harvesting the whole lot. But by then, you've already harvested a lot of their eggs. A lot. So there's a lot of return because you can pick up a, um, a about four quail for you know four or five bucks each, and if you've got a male, they'll start laying those to, you know 17 days, as I said 17 days later, and it keeps coming. So it doesn't take long for you to have a flock. A lot of eggs, a lot of food. Think about it, guys. So thanks very much for watching. It's a bit of a waffle today. Um, I know you're going to forgive me. Oh, I hope you're going to forgive me. Um, but it's just recently I've started to think, hmm, which am I, as I said, I'm not going to get rid of each because, you know, I'll sit down with one rabbit or two rabbits and that's a meal. This, this lot, to sit down for a meal for my lot, it's like 10, you know. Um, 
Maybe nine, because I think my, my wife would only eat the one if she'd eat it. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for letting me waffle. Thanks for drugging on. I know that you're going to... Thanks so much for your support, guys. Um, I appreciate everything that you've done for us. Um, so take care. Talk to you later. Bye.